Hindi ni Hulang. Good morning. It's Monday, I think it's about seven o'clock. I'm just gonna sit here and have my tea, get my to-do list together, take care of a couple of work things, then jump in the shower and we'll get started with the day. I am still reading Serpent and Dove and I made a ton of progress in this yesterday. I'm on page 210, so I'm like 40% of the way through. Then I also started reading Shadow Kiss by Rochelle Mead for my Vampire Academy reread. I'm only like 10% of the way through that book though. Hey guys, so it's now 10.45 and I actually just got a text from my boss saying that I don't have to go nanny today because the youngest kid is sick so the dad stayed home from work with him today. This morning I was just editing last week's vlog and I had a lot left to edit of it so that took up a lot of time this morning. I haven't done any beta reading yet this morning and I'm in the middle of two of those so I need to get started on that. And then I want to keep doing revisions for my own book that I started in last week's vlog. I'm gonna do some yoga, get my workout in, and I think I might stop at Target. Do I go to Target every week? It seems like it. Um, nothing huge. I really just need cold brew and soap. Like if I could buy anything else I'm gonna be really annoyed with myself. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's almost one o'clock now. I've been working on a beta read all morning and I actually just finished it and sent over all of my feedback to my client. And I also updated my freelance services. Like I updated my prices and what I offer and my packages and stuff. And this is something I've been going back and forth on for a really long time. I know a lot of you have asked me about getting into freelancing and stuff and like how to find clients and things like that. So what I did early on was I set my prices pretty low because I didn't have any reviews on the site yet. I use Fiverr. I'd say probably half of my clients find me through there and then half of them just work with me directly by emailing me and we just like figure it out ourselves. And so on Fiverr I set my prices pretty low just so it would be affordable just so people didn't feel like they had a lot of risk in hiring me without knowing, you know, what they were getting until I got some reviews and that was just a way to like start to build up a little bit of authority there to show that like I know what I'm doing, people are happy with the work that I'm returning them, they're giving me good reviews so other people could trust me enough to hire me, you know. Done that for the past couple of months and everything's gone really well, but my prices were really, really low for the amount of work that I was doing and it was starting to get to the point where I had so many orders and I knew how much time I had to put into all of them and it just wasn't worth it and I was starting to almost resent the work that I was doing because I knew I wasn't being paid fairly which is 100% on me. I wasn't charging enough. I was undervaluing my own services. So all of this is to say I raised my prices. I don't know if they're gonna stay there. I'm gonna kind of experiment with where I want to put them but it's gotten to the point where like I know what I bring to the table. I know that I'm really good at what I do and I know that I go above and beyond the average beta read. Like it's a hybrid basically of like a beta read, a manuscript evaluation, and some editing. And I know how much time that I put into this when I like calculated down like the hourly rate I was getting paid. It was just absurd, honestly. And so now, you know, um, raising your prices always runs the risk of getting fewer clients, but I feel like I will enjoy working with the clients that I do work with from now on because they value me the way that I'm valuing me. And yeah, so I thought I would update you on that. And then also like, I think this is something that a lot of freelancers and artists and things go through, like not wanting to charge a lot of money for your work, but for one thing you do have to make a living. I do have bills that I have to pay. And you also have to know what you bring to the table, you know, I'm not just someone off the street offering to read your book, like I have a degree, I have a lot of experience, I have a lot of practice, I know what I'm talking about. It's not a bad thing to ask to get paid fairly. And editing in particular, I feel like people undervalue. Like I've had people message me just asking for absurd things, like you want 
me to put in like 20 hours of work for you and the price that you're willing to pay comes down to paying me like two dollars an hour like do you not understand that that is just unreasonable it's one thing for it to like not be in your budget and i can completely respect that just saying hey this isn't in my budget at this time i totally get that but being like hey will you do it for 20 bucks no no i will not so that's that on that cheers Good morning. Happy Tuesday. When's the last time I updated you? What have you missed? I watched The Bachelor last night. If you watched it, let me know because we were cracking up with the whole champagne situation. But other than that, I don't particularly like any of the girls yet. I'm not very interested in any of them. Anyway, this morning I've just been doing some freelance stuff. I had to respond to some messages and stuff like that. I'm still working on one of my beta reads, so I'm gonna jump straight into that this morning. I'll have nanning this afternoon. I feel like I haven't picked up a book at all lately, so I'm gonna try and read for fun a little bit this afternoon before work. And then, you know, the usual stuff, get some of my own edits done, go work out, and I think it's supposed to be like relatively nice today. I was gonna go for a walk this morning because the sun is rising right now, but it feels like 25 because of the wind and it's like, ugh, nah, I can't do it. But it's a high of 55. I think if I go closer to noon for my walk, it'll be nice outside. I've been slowly trying to train the cats to sleep with me. Not like they have to sleep with me, just to sleep during the time that I'm sleeping so they don't wake me up. And both of them curled right in next to my legs and they were so good. They didn't get me up at all last night. They just slept with me all night. We're making progress. So I just finished doing my yoga for the morning and I was about to make some breakfast. And I have been asked to share my pancake recipe and I'm feeling like pancakes this morning, so let's make them. Recipe is a very generous term to describe what I'm about to do. Perfect, because this banana has seen better days. So you're gonna want a blender. Put the banana in the blender. I don't measure anything. I just start throwing things in here. I like to put some protein powder in here. Honestly, you could go for as much as you want because you're not gonna taste it in the pancakes the way you would with like a smoothie. I'm almost out. Put some oats in there. Good enough. Put some almond milk. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of cinnamon in there. Blend this up, this will be the batter. And then as for what I put on the pancakes, I have some peanut butter powder and I mix this with a little bit more water than it calls for so it's more of like a sauce I can drizzle on top. I'm gonna put some of these chocolate chips in there. If I had another banana, I'd put bananas on top, but I'm out. And then instead of syrup, I'm gonna put a little bit of agave on there. Okay, so they might not be the prettiest looking things, but I promise you they are delicious. Hey guys, it's now 12.20. I'm getting set up to film a video. I just went to the gym, got a workout in, came back, showered, got ready, that kind of stuff. I'm filming a recommendation video today. But once I finish with this, I think I'll have a little over an hour before I have to head to work and I'm gonna spend the rest of that time doing beta read stuff. But I have been listening to my audiobook for Serpent and Dove this morning. and I think I'm about halfway through the book now. It's actually just making me really angry to read it. It's a fantasy novel, but it's about the church and how the men in power are corrupt and, you know, killing off all of these witches and stuff and they're not listening to anyone else and just killing everyone. I just, it hits too close to home sometimes and it just makes me really frustrated with the world. But overall, I'm enjoying the book. Good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday. It's almost eight o'clock. I've been sitting here for hours. So I finished editing and uploading a new video and putting that on Patreon early this morning. I did a little bit of my beta read this morning and now I'm jumping into revisions on my own book. I finally got all of the feedback returned from my beta readers on this book. I had been planning to jump into revisions with my NaNoWriMo book, but this one I'm further along with and I'd really just been waiting on a little bit more feedback and I feel like my head is more in this book so it makes more sense to try and focus on this one and honestly, Sorry if the heater is like really loud, I'm noticing that now. A big part of me, I didn't want to admit it to myself, wanted to focus on my NaNoWriMo book because it's easier, frankly. It's shorter, it's less complex, it has one point of view character that we're following, it's set in like the real world, and it's just a simpler story. It's really fun. This one, I'm still like really, really passionate about, I still really want to work on it, 
but I'm like afraid of it. <laughs> it's just so complicated and sometimes I just feel so overwhelmed by it that I feel like I'm out of my depths and I'm just like, I don't know if I can pull this off, which I know I can, it's just gonna be a lot of work. So I've been making a list this morning of all of the new revision stuff I wanna do. I think you just need to take it one at a time and just start chipping away at making these changes and stop thinking of it as like, oh my gosh, there's so much to change and just focus on one little thing at a time so I won't be overwhelmed anymore. Because in reality, a lot of these are gonna be small changes and it's not gonna be that hard to change. It's just looking at a long list of like all of these things that are wrong with it that's just like so overwhelming. There's a couple things things that like are gonna be really big changes but most of them are pretty easy fixes <sighs> I don't know if any of this is making sense I'm overwhelmed with this book but I'm excited because I think if I can get this right if I can get all of this revised and stuff it's gonna be a really cool book but I'm not gonna lie it's the most ambitious book I've ever tried to write it's complicated we're following two different point of view characters we have two different worlds essentially not really but kind of like two different world building systems that I had to do and then like the whole political history of this and the whole progression of this it's just like so many moving parts to juggle at once and have a good balance in the book of it it's just it's a lot and just as I finished talking the heater finally stops so like I said it's about 7 45 I'll probably sit here and work for a little bit longer then go for a run or something, do my yoga, get ready for my day. I have nanny this afternoon and I'm teaching a class tonight. And my beta read's going really well. I divided it out and um, in order to finish by the due date for that one, I only have to read seven pages a day because I'm so far ahead of schedule. So I'm not worried about that. And I'm enjoying that story. So it should be a good day, hopefully. So it's now 11 11 and I honestly haven't gotten that much done this morning. I went and got my workout in showered and stuff I still need to go do my hair but haven't really made any progress in any of my stuff because my friend sent me this funny like recap thing about the bachelor and then I fell into this like rabbit hole of watching all of these videos of people reacting to things that were happening and it was so funny and so entertaining but it wasted so much time hi Max what are you doing pretty girl so now I have a cat ouch I need to clip your nails. So now I'm gonna sit down and do a little more of my beta read and a little more of revisions on my own stuff. I think just to give me some momentum to get started, I'm gonna go in and change some of the easy small things just so I can start feeling better about it before I try to tackle any of the major ones. And we'll just see how much we can get done before it's time to leave. Hello everybody, it's about eight o'clock. I know, oh, that was like really yellow for a second. I know I haven't updated you a lot today. I haven't updated you like a ton in this vlog in general, which I'm like annoyed about because I've had a lot of stuff going on, but I just have something going on with my mouth right now. So it's like really painful to talk. So that's why I haven't been doing a lot of updates. I've actually canceled almost all of my classes this week just because I can't smile and I can't really talk normally. And it's just like too painful. This happens a lot. Sometimes it just flares up. It's fine. Um, that makes it sound really weird. It's not, I promise. But anyway, it's eight o'clock. I just had some dinner actually went by my family's house earlier to see the dogs and to pick up a couple of things from their house and now i'm working on edits for my book i've made so much progress on this today i'm so happy not like actually in the document but what i decided to do was i made the list of all the changes that i needed to make and then i went through my current draft and using the comments and word i could put where i want to make all of these changes and so now I've pretty much established, I've gone through the whole manuscript, where things need to change, what I'm gonna add. And that's basically, I really just have to add stuff. I'm not taking anything out. And then I did write like a really rough version of a new scene today. So I made some good progress. I made some good progress in my beta read today as well. And everything's going honestly better than I was expecting. Like I was saying, I was like really overwhelmed with this book, but after I sat down and like really started making these comments in the document like I have a couple of new scenes to write I have like one or two threads that it's gonna cause like a ripple effect and I'm gonna have to change a decent amount of stuff with it but honestly it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be I just built it up in my head it's like I have to change everything and I don't I can fix this pretty easily it'll be okay so I feel like I have more to update you on this is the problem with not updating you throughout the day. I have been listening to the audiobook for Serpent and Dove. I'm struggling to talk. I have four hours left on the audiobook. I am two thirds of the way through. I just got to the scene. I was listening to it in the car and I was so unprepared. I knew this was a scene in the book because I'd heard people talk about it, but I didn't know when it was gonna come up. I got to the scene on the roof while I was driving today. If you've read the book, I was just driving like, oh, you hear my cats? Running back and forth, back and forth. I'm actually having a lot of fun just like working on my... <laughs>
The amount of amusement my cats get just from chasing each other back and forth, it's very entertaining to watch. But yeah, I'm actually really enjoying just working on my stuff, so I might just keep doing this tonight. And I canceled my class for tomorrow morning. I just, until this stops being extremely painful, I'm just not gonna make myself do it. Which just means I can stay up a little bit later than I usually do, because I don't have to get up at five in the morning. So yeah, I'll update you guys tomorrow. Control. Everything is real. So hit me. So hit me. So hit me. First a confession. With you, I feel a connection. With